Hi guys, Vilnius Prince here, and I think it's about time I actually look back at last month's opening ceremony keys from Shop Disney. So there was a total of six opening ceremony keys released here in the UK by Shop Disney. The first two were featured in the four key key set. I had to be careful, I nearly said something else. Um, four key from Toy Story 4. Price is just £13 and it's still online now to buy. Then the next three came in the Mickey Through the Years box set. Price is just £25 and once again, still online to buy. Are you picking up a pattern here? And then the last one was the It's a Small World key. Uh, you had to spend over £20 to get this key for free. So you can't get this key anymore. So the pattern is that these box sets are not proven to be as popular as these keys. But anyhow, let's go and have an individual look over all of them and a closer look and see which key was the best key of the month. OK, before we look at each individual key, I do have a gripe when it comes to these opening 70 keys um, that I released from Disney Store. And that due to the fact of the design doesn't work well with some of them. Due to the fact the base, I call this bit the base of the key, the design is usually cut off by these sides because they're just solid colours. Um, so if you watch the Disney Love keys that I reviewed last month, some of those keys, the design didn't work well. But the plus point of all six of these keys is that fact that these sides are solid colours that do not ruin the designs one bit. Um, which is a huge plus point for all six of these keys. Um, with that out of the way, let's go and look at the first set of keys, which is the four key keys. Uh, trash. No, no, no. That's the trash. These are your friends. Come on. Hey. Okay, so here is the four key Toy Story 4 key set. Once again, two keys for £13. Now, before we actually go through each individual key here, I did not know the name of this one because it's not really mentioned in the movie. Well, not that I remember anyway. Um, so I would have thought her name would have been Knifey, just like Forky. But obviously Knifey doesn't really go well with a Disney movie, does it? Does it? So when you actually bought this key set from ShopDisney.com, that's when you actually find out what her actually name is because it's actually in the title of the product. Her name is Karen. Okay, so after the year we've had, 2020, the disaster that was, Karen over here in the UK became famous for a certain reason. And looking at that um, picture, she does look like a Karen, doesn't she? Someone who would actually go to a manager and complain about nothing. Let me speak to your manager. Yes, that's a Karen over here in the UK. Right, so that's out of the way. Let's look at the main keys. So we have got Forky and Karen. Um, coming in a box set. Of course, box set is pretty bland, really. Just a beige box with Toy Story 4 logo. A nice little image there of Forky saying, get me out of here. Um, because he's with Karen. Um, uh, and on the back, so just dropped it on the back, just a usual um, Disney Store, um, Disney Store writing really, that you find on every product. And just a plain red background. Now, one thing that I did notice going to the back is, why is there a picture of a fork and a spoon? Now, I know Forky is a spoon and fork combined, a sporky, but why is there a spoon under it? It should be a fork and a knife because Karen is technically a knife. That doesn't make sense. Right, so the box out of the way. Um, they are great keys. They are nice and colourful. Um, Pixar keys, so you've actually got Luxo Jr. here on both of them with Bonnie writing her name, just like Andy did with Woody. Uh, nice illustrations of Woody and, not, not Woody, Karen, no that's Karen, and that's Forky. And then Forky having the blue D insignia, sorry to get the lights out of the way, and Karen having the yellow D insignia. 
Nice bright keys, not bad for £13 really, for two keys, um, considering the first box set that Disney Store done was the Walt Disney Studios key set, four keys for £35. So getting two keys like this is a great way to start your collection off for £13. Not bad. Um, so that is that key set. Let's go and look at the next one. So next keys up, we do have the Mickey Mouse Through the Years key box set. Now, leading on from what I just said about the forky key set, um, how good value for money that is. Um, two keys for thirteen pound. Lost what I was going to say then. So basically, the average per key in that box set was six pound fifty. This box set though, three keys for twenty five pound. So that means the average per key is eight pound thirty three. Why are these keys more expensive than uh, Forky keys? It, it doesn't make sense. Unless we're paying for the words special edition. But aren't all keys special edition? Well, don't know. Doesn't make sense. Anyway, let's talk about the actual box. Um, Grey box comes in with a, well, a plastic window. So the keys do become protect protected, just like the Forky keys. I forgot to mention that as well in the Forky little close-up review. Um, you do get the Mickey through the years um, design all the way down. I'll show you on the edge because you see more clearly there. All the way around the box. Um, golden trim with the golden Mickey Mouse insignias on the corner. Disney logo there and the word special edition. So maybe that's what you're paying the extra five pound for, because this box set should be roughly about twenty pound, going off the average per key on the last box set. And on the back, you've got the usual Disney Store uh, gobbledygook. And then I love the three golden Mickey's here. You've got Fantasia Mickey, um, the one that we all know, the more popular Mickey there. And I am not sure what that Mickey's from. I think. Um, I don't know, I'm not too sure where that Mickey's come from. Maybe that's the 60 stroke 70s Mickey. Right, um, going back to the front, you again got the repeated design that's all around the box inside the box as well. So inside you've got the most popular Mickey there, uh, the band Mickey, band member Mickey, if that's the right word for him. Um, the old style Mickey Mouse there, and you've got the Steamboat Willie, Right there, and the more popular, well-known design there. Um, going to the keys. Of course, being Disney keys, you've got the Cinderella's castle on them. On the end, they've got the slogan um, for the key set. The one and only, true original, Mickey Mouse. And you've got, basically, silver design on the top, bronze design for the middle, and gold is golden design on the bottom key with the Mickey Mouse um, insignias on the actual D insignia key. So, each key has um, its own different Mickey Mouse through the years. So, Steamboat Willie's there. Uh, I think that's the 80s Mickey there. Or is that, that's 90s Mickey. That's the one we all know about now. Uh, that's the Mickey Mouse from the Jack and the Beanstalk movie. Fantasia Mickey there. Uh, I think that's the 50s Mickey. Maybe that's the 70s Mickey. But there is one Mickey missing. If this is Mickey Mouse through the years, why isn't there new Mickey on this? Uh, I know the new design for Mickey Mouse is not as popular with people, but if this is Mickey Mouse through the years, why isn't that Mickey Mouse on there? Um, so that's a bit of a downer for me because I do actually like the new design Mickey Mouse. It's just something new and different. Um, all together though, this box set, it's all right. It's not as colorful as the, sorry, I'm trying to get out the glare. It's not as colorful as the Toy Story box set. Um, it's not good value for money compared to the Toy Story box set. Um, or the Forky box set, should I say. 
Um, but I do like the fact that it's got all the Mickeys, but once again, it's missing the newest Mickey on there. Um, so it's not a bad one. If you were going to start your collection, I would start off with the full Kiki set. And if you like this one, go for this one next, or wait for this one to go in the sale, if it does, because the Walt Disney Studio key set that had four keys in there, I think from each key from a different studio, Pixar, Disney, Star Wars, and Marvel, that was four keys of £35. Again, the logic. Uh, that was actually in the sale eventually, so this one might go in the sale. So if you are a big Disney fan and you love Mickey, get it now. Um, because that's the thing with Disney. If once you've sold out, it's sold out. Or wait for it to go in the sale. Let's have a look at the last key. So last up is the It's a Small World key. Now, once again, to get this key, you had to spend over £20 to get the key for free. Now, I know for a fact that I've just said in the last two keys, the pricing didn't make sense. Well, here in the UK, um, since the very first key they've done, uh, you had to spend a certain amount to get the keys for free. So doing the box sets is something new, but they're not proving to be as popular as getting the keys individually. Uh, now, the one thing that has got me thinking is, with all these keys in this review today, why have they been released? Um, because there's no anniversaries. Um, Mickey Mouse celebrated his 90th in 2018. Four key was introduced to us two years ago. And here on It's a Small World, they're saying it's 55 years. Yeah, but that's not till May. Uh, so why is it being released in March? Um, because It's a Small World was opened up uh, May 28th, 1966. So why is this key being released now in the month of March? Why didn't they wait two months to release it then? Anyhow, that's just one of my little like, little one of my pointless um, little gripes there. I'm not complaining. I love these keys anyway. So being a Disney collector, we love the tag. So let's look at the tag first. A uh, nice white tag with golden imagery and the design of the actual ride, once again, celebrating 55 years. Uh, Disney logo there. And then if you actually open it up, the pattern carries all the way through. You've got uh, the usual Disney gobbledygook there on the back. And then the actual key. The one thing I do love about this key is, let me get it. There we go is this bit. Now, when you first look at this key, you think it, that's the actual grandfather clock, um, the shape. Well, it is Cinderella's castle, but you could actually be thinking, oh, that the end of the key is the actual grandfather clock building because that's the grandfather clock face, but it's still Cinderella's castle. It gets you thinking. So I was like, oh, that's something new, but closer look, it, it's actually Cinderella's castle, but with the grandfather clock building image on it. Then you have the It's a Small World logo, or slogan, should I say, and then the lovely characters that sing that lovely song to you that will get stuck in your head all the way through the ride, and you're guaranteed to get stuck on the ride, and these characters will sing that song to you so much that it'll actually get stuck in your head, and it's basically implanted in your head forever. But then again, it's a great ride. It's one of the most famous things about it is you will never, ever get that song out of your head. And then the D, D insignia has got the basically little like slogans that are actually other as you get off the ride, like Aloha, Adios, Salom, uh, Farfell. I'm sorry if I just butchered that, Farfell. Is that... Yeah, it's a nice, bright, full, colourful key, and I'm loving it. It's a great key. Yes, I know they should have waited till May to release it, but I'm glad it's in my collection. You have one too. The fear for me, the fear for you. I want to get off. 
You can't get off. We have five more continents to visit. After looking at all the keys, there is a clear favourite for me. Uh, even though there were six, there's a standout winner for the best key of the month. Has to be the It's a Small World key. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, what do you reckon? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next video.